okay so when we talk about millets we don't talk about any one particular plant or any one specific plant we talk about a group of cereal plants that produces very small seeded edible grains that is all those cereal plants that produces very small sized edible grains are collectively referred as millets now millets are considered as believed as among the one of the first plants that were domesticated by humans the millets belong to the family poaceae the plants are annual in nature that is once the plant completes its life cycle it dies up the life cycle of the plants are very short about 2 to 3 months and if you observe the seeds the seeds are very small and are more or less roundish in structure major millet producing countries are india india is actually the leading producer of millet apart from india there is china nigeria and mali etc countries which also produces good amount of millets here is a nutritional chart about millet when the nutritional chart of millet was compared with other cereals it was observed that the millets are very low in protein content as compared to other cereals but the millets are very rich in fat content as compared to most of the cereal plants like wheat and a, a thing that uh, you should remember is sometimes it comes in exam is the protein a specific protein called gluten is absent in most of the millet plants and if you see the vitamins and minerals the millets are very very rich in vitamins and very very rich in minerals and therefore are considered as very nutritious in nature now apart from the nutritional benefits millets have also many environmental benefits for example researchers have found that millets can grow in drought areas so we can say that they have the ability to grow even in less amount of water millets can grow in less fertile soils millets can withstand that is tolerate variable climatic condition for example heavy rainfall that is flooded conditions intense heat that is high temperature and can grow in various soil types even in the saline soils so all these characters because of all these special characters present in them which many other cereals don't have for example rice cannot tolerate high temperatures so it is believed that if the conditions of earth in the near future becomes very adverse then the millets can be a very good alternative to other cereal plants also since they are so nutrient rich too they can also be used as a staple food in the new, near future because of the environmental tolerance and the nutritional level these um crops or these um, plants crop plants or the cereal plants are also referred as the crops of future or the miracle grains by scientists now there are many types and many different species many different genuses of millets which are available or known but here i have just mentioned some of the very important millets which are grown extensively or which are grown cultivated in very high amounts in india now all these millets have their own importance depending on the amount or depending on the concentration of mineral they have depending on which type of mineral they are rich in depending on their fiber content for example if you see pearl millet so pearl millet are considered as the most drought to tolerant cereal crop and this is something one should remember now the thing is that if we observe the pearl millet so pearl millet are very very high in iron content actually the iron content in pearl millet is 8 times larger than that of rice now they are also very rich in magnesium so since they are so rich in magnesium so we can say that they help in reducing the blood pressure also they are very rich in calcium so this they also help in strengthening of bones so similarly uh, if you see foxtail millet so foxtail millets are then again rich in calcium they are rich in iron they help in reducing the bad cholesterol sorry they help in eliminating the bad cholesterol so likewise you see there are different types of millets and uh, these are the uh, common names these are the local names and these are the scientific names and you should remember the common name as well as the scientific name because in certain exams they simply ask the scientific names and just don't go in very much detail if you are doing bsc botany because in none of the entrances or none of the examinations they ask in very much detail about what spike uh, what type of inflorescence millets types of millets have or what type of so these are some of the uses of millets since the millets are very nutritious in nature and are also edible therefore they can be used as a staple food millets are very nutritious as they have a large number of minerals present in them and they have fibers present in them now minerals like calcium magnesium phosphorus potassium etc now see since they are so rich in minerals so one if the millets are used in a very proper way it can also act or it can also be a solution to the problem of malnutrition in our country right now 
the millets are also used as fodder to feed cattle they are used in poultry to feed them they are used as a uh, fodder that is the cereal grains the millet grains are used to feed other birds also they are used in the preparation of alcoholic beverages they are used in the production of flour they are used in the production of dishes like roti idli dosa for example you must have heard about the jowar roti then they also help in fighting type 2 diabetes heart diseases gallstones constipations etc here is a very small chart about differentiating the millets with other cereal plants you can just pause the video and just go through it it is a very simple type of chart if we look at the production history of millet we see that the production of millet was very high before green revolution but during green revolution since many high yielding varieties came into market so the demand of wheat was actually high during that time and farmers were earning more money by cultivating wheat so the demand of wheat since was very high so farmers started cultivating more wheat in their fields as a result they were earning more money so because of this reason the production of millet declined as their demand was also low and hence their prices also became very low now because of this reason the millets used to be grown during that time by many poor farmers for their own consumption and hence the millets are therefore also called as poor man's crops but soon some years later after green revolution when scientists started doing researches on millets they found out that millets had many usefulness they are, they are very beneficial plants so now looking at their uses looking at their benefits the demand of millets are slowly on rise and there are many government schemes also which have been put forward for increasing the production of millets